Sunk costs are past expenses that have already been incurred and cannot be recovered. In decision making, the sunk cost fallacy occurs when people continue investing time, money, or effort into something simply because they have already spent resources on it, even when moving on would be a better choice. Rational decision making suggests that sunk costs should not influence future choices, but people often struggle to ignore them. Instead of focusing on potential future benefits, individuals may feel obligated to justify past investments. Now let's look at some examples of sunk costs in real life. One example of a sunk cost is when someone buys an expensive concert ticket, but later realises they are too tired or busy to go. Instead of accepting the loss and staying home, they may force themselves to attend just to get their money's worth, even if they do not enjoy it. Another example is a business that invests heavily in a failing project, but continues funding it because of the money already spent, rather than cutting losses and shifting resources to a better opportunity. In relationships, people may stay in unhappy friendships or partnerships because they have already invested years into them. These examples show how sunk costs can lead to poor decision making. Now let's explore some causes of this bias. One cause of the sunk cost fallacy is loss aversion, where people feel a strong desire to avoid wasting resources, even if continuing will lead to further losses. Another cause is emotional attachment, as individuals may struggle to abandon something they have put effort and time into. Cognitive bias also plays a role, as people often believe that quitting means failure, even when moving on would be the smarter choice. Social pressure can also contribute, as individuals may worry about how others will perceive their decision to walk away from a past investment. Now let's examine some effects of the sunk cost fallacy. One effect of the sunk cost fallacy is that it leads to continued losses as people waste additional time, money, or energy on unproductive pursuits. It can also cause stress and frustration, as individuals feel trapped in bad situations but struggle to let go. In business, the sunk cost fallacy can result in poor financial decisions, preventing companies from reallocating resources to more successful projects. In personal life, it can keep people stuck in unfulfilling commitments instead of pursuing better opportunities. These effects highlight why overcoming the sunk cost fallacy is important for rational decision making. Now let's explore some solutions. One way to avoid the sunk cost fallacy is to focus on future benefits rather than past investments, making decisions based on potential outcomes rather than emotional attachment. Another solution is to set clear goals and evaluate whether continuing a commitment aligns with those objectives. Practicing detachment and recognising that past expenses cannot be recovered can also help individuals make more logical choices. Seeking outside perspectives from trusted friends or mentors can provide a more objective view of the situation. By applying these strategies, people can avoid the negative effects of sunk costs and make better decisions.